came here with a chip on our shoulders and we played like it. And we flipped this whole script. We took care of each other. We had a team concept. Team, together, excellence always materializes. But it's all about that together. There was no room for I. That was different. We got tired of losing. And at some point, when you lose enough, you have to make a conscious decision to change it, to do something about it. That three and eight? Nah, we never wanted to taste that again. Was mad that Raynham had to go through that. Cause I stood on the sideline like, ooh, <laughs> boy, you wait till my turn. Somebody got to pay. Somebody got to pay. And yeah, that first year, that bowl game that I started in, that he talking about that seven and four, I had a towel that said paid in full on. That's right. We paid the price that Eric B and Rakim was in my head. But we paid it throughout summer, winter. It didn't matter. The 6 a.m. workouts. We paid the price. So if you're willing to pay the price to be a leader, to lead other young men, do that. Step to the forefront. But you rally them soldiers with you. It was personal. and We didn't care who it was. We didn't care. Well, we, as Ray said, we came in, these young, we came in as young bucks. Ray and a couple of the guys started that first year, three and eight. That next year, you're talking about off season. We worked hard and said, never again. We will never be a losing squad again. And that's what we built. We built winning tradition, but we built it together. We hung on the field and we hung just as closely off the field. We were one unit, period, on and off the field. And we played for each other. And when you playing for somebody, you understand that the game is bigger than you. And you take great pride in the product that you put out on the field. John Gamble taught us whatever it takes, via weight room, classroom, it didn't matter. Whatever it takes to win. And that was the creed we lived by. With everything that you do here, remember the fact that you really belong here. You got that scholarship for a reason. They wouldn't have given it to you if they didn't think you could, could survive here. So embrace it, be happy about it, give that firm handshake, look your professors in the eye. You're different because you hold down two jobs while you're here. But don't you ever have that feeling like you don't belong, because you do. So you walk with your head high, you hold yourself accountable, and when you walk across to get that degree, you hold your head even higher than everybody else. Because trust me, when I walk around, you know, I don't walk around like, oh, I'm Tony Cummings, the football player. No, I walk around like that UVA graduate. And that has, that carries weight in the business world. You guys have taken a significant step. Coach London's done a great job. You guys have everything you need. You have all the support in the world. Now all you have to do take all the things that they've given you and go out on the field and be football players. Be football players and hate to lose. When everybody stops cheering, when you can't be on that 52 by 100 with those guys, man, that's a lonely place. So relish this time. Relish this moment. Live in this moment. And when you embrace each other, in that tunnel, when you're about to go out and put the thing down, live in that moment. My challenge, don't make excuses. Don't make excuses for, well, we didn't, we didn't win because, or I couldn't get them last couple of reps in because. That is a hell of a challenge for you because if you refuse to be outworked, you will put the best product on the field that anyone could possibly imagine. Live in the moment, no excuses, don't be outworked, and you will win a whole lot of football games. Because trust me, that comes from right here. It's a physical game. When you step out there, make it mean something. Make them feel you every single snap. And when they leave, make them feel you too. Them bumps and bruises, they'll look for you again. Damn, they sure did hit my ass on that Saturday afternoon. He not only hit my body, he hit my mind. 
That's what it's about. So life gonna challenge you, please believe. But never forget who you are. I always say, to thine own self be true.